Well, back in 2003, we wanted to help women find their inner sex pot and let go of some of those applique sweaters. Over the years, so many moms had told us that they lost that loving, sexy feeling. Lock your doors and bolt your windows, America. It's here, the attack of the applique sweater. I purchase a new one every year so that I add to my collection. <laughs> Heather's colorful sweater collection includes the Scarecrow Falling Leaf Turkey Sweater, the Fourth of July Star Spangled Banner Sweater, and the Fun Fall Pumpkin Sweater. The pumpkin sweaters. Uh, you know, she, she looks like her mom when she wears the pumpkin sweaters, which is, is fine, but uh, I didn't marry her mom. <laughs> Am I in trouble now? <laughs> Believe it or not, this suburban mom used to be a hot to trot sex pot. But 10 years of marriage and two children later, the sexiest thing about this mother is her granny panties. Honey, these are my favorite. But what about these? No way. Oh, I definitely forgot what sexy means. I want to show that side of me, but you know, carpools and sippy cups and diapers don't really allow you to really explore that part of you. I'd like to see how beautiful she really is. I think it would be so fun to do something outrageous, something that would really blow his mind. Okay, so Heather's been secluded from her husband, Mark, for a few days, and he's about to see her for the first time. Mark, you ready? Yep. Yep, okay. <laughs> One more time, this is Heather before, okay? How could we forget that pumpkin sweater? That actually, <laughs> when I saw the pumpkin sweater, I said, she has to come. <laughs> All right, come on out here, Heather, come on out. What do you think of yourself here? I feel transformed, most you, definitely. You feel transformed, <laughs> most definitely. This is the thing about makeovers. I never liked them on the show because I always felt like if you, you know, put a person in a brand new outfit and you glossed them up with a lot of, you know, lipstick and you recolored the hair and they weren't able to manage and hold on to that, that it wasn't really real. So while we did give Heather a makeover. We also tried to help her see herself as someone different than just a woman wearing a pumpkin sweater, as vibrant, as sexy, as being able to make her husband blush like that. This was stepping out of the box big time for Heather. But her sex pot makeover does not end here. Her husband, Mark, does not know this. <laughs> Oh, you thought that was a transformation. But wait, but Sheila has been very busy giving Heather pole dance pointers. Okay? It's true. For days, for days they've been secretly working on some very sensual moves, and Heather is breaking out of her box big time, okay? She said she wanted to do something really outrageous for you that would uh, blow your mind. <laughs> I can already see it's blowing a little bit. Okay, here she is, Heather Lutze. Yeah, and since that show, they have seven children. <laughs> I'm only kidding. The reason why this was such a fantastic step out of your box moment is because women get stuck in a pumpkin sweater mold where they think that doing the same thing every day and taking care of their kids leaves them not being as sexy as they used to be or thinking that, you know, having a pole in the house. <laughs>
<laughs> having a poll in, in the house is such an outrageous thing. But I don't know whether they put a poll in their house, but I do know that that changed the dynamic of their relationship quite a bit because it not only changed the way she saw her, the way he saw her, but mostly changed the way she saw herself.